Hello everyone, my name is Tena Bakoka Taka. I am a Nigerian who firmly believes in unity and respect for humanity, regardless of race, tribe, gender, or religion. I am here today to address a very controversial narrative that has been making rounds all over social media and the news. This is regarding a statement that when TIV men host their guests, they give their wives out to these guests for pleasure purposes. Speaking as a proud TIV man who was born into one of the most prominent families to come out of the Middle Belt region, and the first grandson of Joseph, Sawan Taka, I would like to categorically state that in all my years of hosting my guests, even the thought of such a derogatory practice has never crossed my mind. So therefore, such a thing never, ever occurred in my marriage. Coming from a prominent Tiv family, it is easy to be the target of the backlash regarding this matter. But on the other hand, I am also well placed to speak on behalf of all Tiv people when I state clearly that such a practice has never occurred or existed within the Tiv culture or any other Nigerian culture for that matter. This issue has been addressed by our Paramount's ruler, His Royal Highness Ochivire Prof. Professor James Ayati. I can assure you that Tiv men are fiercely protective over their wives and daughters. I strongly suggest against trespassing or you will have to face the consequences. What is a well-known fact about we Tiv men is that we are very welcoming and hospitable to all. Yes, indeed, we do go to any lengths to make sure that our guests feel as if they were a VIP. This ensures that they feel welcome and comfortable. It is this exceptional level of hospitality that has been misconstrued by some guests who sometimes carry very enthusiastic but exaggerated tales of the hospitality that they have received in Tivland. Stereotypes like these are harmful as they undermine trust and lead to misunderstandings and division. I am extremely grateful of the pathways and foundations that my father and grandfather before him paved for me. I do not take my heritage lightly. I do understand that this narrative that was recently peddled and well publicized on a national platform and its connection to me has caused a lot of pain, anger and disappointment to my Tiv people. I assure you, I feel the same way. And so to all my Tiv brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, and all well-meaning Nigerians, I offer you my sincere apology. I'm really sorry this had to happen. On a personal note, as you are all aware that co-parenting comes with its own challenges. So at this juncture, I would like to thank Venita for being a truly amazing and wonderful mother to our two Tiv princesses. I firmly resolve before all of you to continue to be the loving and supporting father that I have always been to our daughters. I will teach them my morals and in so doing, become a role model of what a moral and upstanding man should be. As the proud father of two Tiv girls, it is important that I emphasize that Tiv women are not objects to be owned or used. I believe everything happens for a reason and that is why I am seizing this opportunity to play my part and once and for all bring an end to this false misconception and outright falsehood that has reared its ugly head once again. I wish to use this platform to shed light on issues of even more importance to us as indigents of Benway State. To take positives from recent events, one such positive is the heartwarming manner in which all Tiv people banded together as one to defend our culture. When the controversial statement was publicly made, we arose with one voice to vehemently deny it and we were heard. We stood together and we were seen. 
if we continue to build on this momentum and work together, our impact will surely be felt across our great country, Nigeria, and even our continent, Africa. I want to urge the youth to own their power of being active change agents. In our generation, in this generation, we are fortunate enough to have the ability to harness the power of social media as an effective tool to project the right rhetoric concerning our culture and to also catalyze positive changes that will benefit us and generations to come. I want to thank everybody that has stood by me throughout these very challenging times. What I least expected was the level of love, support, empathy and protection that I received from the TIF community. I would especially like to thank my TIV family. The unconditional support that I have received has been overwhelming. Thank you all for your time and attention. God bless us all.